Hi, this is Teacher Wang and welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's topic is addition of integers. Pero syempre, hindi muna natin siya i-add gamit yung rule. Gagamit muna tayo ng positive and negative charge model. So, kung gusto nyo matutunan kung paano mag-add ang integers, gamit ang model na ito. Keep on watching. Okay, so meron tayong mga ilang bagay na dapat tandaan. Ayan, so yung ating positive 1 ay re-represent natin using a positive charge. So, siya ay blue na chip na merong positive sign sa gitna. And yung ating negative 1 ay re-represent natin using a negative charge which is red chip na merong negative sign sa gitna. Okay? Yun namang ating zero o yung tinatawag natin na neutral number na hindi positive at hindi negative ay represent natin siya gamit ang isang positive at isang negative or balancing bilang ng positive at negative. So, halimbawa, meron tayong limang positive at limang negative, yon ay zero pa rin. Okay? So, proceed na tayo sa ating example. Sa ating example number one, we have positive four plus positive 3. So, yung positive 4 natin, i-represent natin siya gamit ang apat na positive charges. Okay? And then, yung atin namang positive 3, of course, ay tatlong positive charges. So, simple lang ang gagawin natin. Bibilangin lang natin kung ilan sila lahat. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 7 positive charges. So, that is Positive 7, of course. So, positive 4 plus positive 3 is positive 7. Okay, so kung dalawang negative naman yung kailangan nating i-add, we have negative 2 or equivalent siya sa dalawang negative charges. Negative 6 or anim na negative charges. So, bibilangin lang natin kung ilan sila lahat. Okay, so we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have 8 negative charges. So, that is negative 8. So, therefore, negative 2 plus negative 6 equals negative 8. So, subukan naman nating mag-add ng integers na magkaiba ang sign. Halimbawa, negative 4 plus positive 3. Yung negative 4, we can represent that using Four negative charges. Yun namang positive 3, of course, ay 3 positive charges. Okay, so nabanggit ko kanina na kapag meron tayong balancing bilang ng negative at positive, yun ay neutral number. So dito meron tayong tatlong negative charges at tatlong positive charges. So nangangahulugan lang na ito ay neutral number or zero na. So aalisin na natin siya. Okay, so ang natira dyan ay isang negative charge or equivalent to negative 1. So, negative 4 plus positive 3 equals negative 1. So, next we have positive 5 plus negative 2. Okay, yung positive 5, ayan, so we can represent this using 5 positive charges. Yun namang negative 2 ay 2. 2 negative charges. So, meron tayong neutral number dito. So, meron tayong dalawang positive at dalawang negative. So, meron tayong zero dyan. So, kailangan na natin siyang alisin. So, ang natira sa atin ay tatlong positive charges or positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, yung positive 5 plus negative 2 ay positive 3. Thanks for watching my video. Sana na-enjoy nyo yung topic natin ngayon na addition of integers using positive and negative charge model. Okay, sa susunod nating video, ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano mag-subtract ng integers gamit ang model na to. So, magkita-kita po tayo muli sa aking mga susunod pang video. Bye!